OK, I believe we've got the happiness speaker, Frederica Roberts. Now, are you there, Frederica? I am. Hello, Graham. Hello there. Right, are curtain twitchers curtain twitchers, or are they just downright nosy? <laughs> They're just downright nosy, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I, I, I get the feeling that people have just got too much time on their hands when they are twitching around at those curtains there. It's like, I just don't have the time. And I don't really care, to be honest. Do you? <laughs> Most of the time, I don't, to be fair, and I'm, I'm very lucky that although I live on, on, on the kind of estate where I'm at the bottom of a cul-de-sac and we've got the neighbourhood kids in and out of the house all weekend and everything, um, people do keep themselves to themselves a fair bit, and I like that. I do like that, you know, we're there if we need to, to collect each other's parcels or yeah. if a house alarm goes off or anything like that, but other than that, we keep ourselves to ourselves, um, and I like that. But um, there was an episode recently where I thought, oh my goodness, I've just discovered my inner curtain twitcher and I didn't even know I had an inner curtain twitcher. <laughs> I was uh, at a friend's house and uh, she's been living there for about six months and we were quite happily sitting, having a catch-up and uh, the text came through from a neighbour of her saying, look out of your front window. So we, we ran to the front window <laughs> and she hasn't even got curtains, which was even worse. We we're trying to watch through the blinds and there was a, a whole kerfuffle going on across the road uh, between some guy that lives there and, and this female stalker or, or, or similar. And, and the text kept flying between my friend and her neighbour, so giving her the whole background about this whole story that's apparently been going on for ages. And all sorts was going on. At one point he was collecting golf clubs from the, pr from the pavement, which I'm sure she'd thrown at him. Um, and then we kept thinking, oh my goodness, they're going to see us. So I actually hid behind the window at one point and apparently missed the most exciting bit where she punched him um, and, and then she kept trying to get in the car and he was going after her and he was leaning in the car and it was fascinating and I thought my goodness what's going on I could have actually spent all afternoon <laughs> you become a curtain twitch haven't you Frederica <laughs> without even knowing it it's I somebody know, else's I'm life fine. is going on there and it's like <laughs> their life's much more exciting than ours isn't it <laughs> Absolutely. And the best thing is I came home and I was telling my husband and my kids all about it, saying you'd never believe what happened when I was around Jenny's house. <laughs> and I thought, oh, no, 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 that's just not me. <laughs> but you see, you got caught up in it. You see, we all like a bit of gossip, don't we? Yes. We yes. love a bit of gossip, <laughs> don't we? We love to know stuff that's going on, even if it, you know, it doesn't really involve us. It's like, you'll never guess what's happening at number four. Oh, <laughs> really? And you tell everybody when they come home, don't you? But we aren't curtain twitchers. We just like to know what's going on, don't we? <laughs> Something like that, yes. <laughs> but uh, do you... You say you live in a cul-de-sac, and cul-de-sacs are the worst for this, aren't mm. they? Because just, just because the way they're designed... And, and I used to live in a cul-de-sac, and I actually had to move out of a house once because I had neighbours, and I told this uh, on the radio a few moments ago, where I went out one Saturday night and got home at 4 o'clock on Sunday morning, and the neighbours the next day, uh, they were out cleaning the car, and when I came out, they went, Oh, you were late home last night, weren't you, Graham? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> like, what? What? Yeah, you got in at four o'clock. I didn't even know what time I got in, but they knew what time I got in. And <laughs> it's like, good, it? I don't want to know. And it's got nothing to do with you. It really hasn't. It, I found it so annoying. And it was like, you almost found, felt like a prisoner in your own home. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I, I can imagine that. I mean, like I say, I'm, I'm really lucky because it could be, it could be a bit like Desperate Housewives on Wisteria Lane here if, if, if I wasn't as lucky as I am. But um, it is quite a quiet cul-de-sac, and I suppose if people really wanted to be nosy, or maybe I'm just oblivious to it, you know, maybe they are all twitching behind the curtains, and I just don't know. The but maybe you're like me, you just don't have the time for it. Is it people oh. that aren't, you know, haven't got enough in their lives to fill their own lives up with? Actually, they have to find a bit of gossip from somewhere else. Possibly. Maybe that's why it's not like that here, because I actually work from home, so I'm, I'm in most of the day, most days, unless I'm out speaking. Right. Um, but uh, a lot of the, the families that live around here, both husband and wife, go out to work, so there's not usually anybody around to twitch behind curtains during the day, and maybe that's what it is. Do you notice, though, because you are at home all day, do you notice if there's a new car on a drive around there, it's like, oh, they've got a new car, haven't they, over there? <laughs> you know, I'm actually oblivious to it. It's my kids that tell me. It's like, oh, so and so's got a new car. But, uh, in fact, we've had neighbours move out, and I've shamefully not even realised. <laughs> Oh, really? Until two or three months later when I say something and my kids say, but they moved out ages ago, didn't you notice? 
I mean, the, the upside to it, of course, is uh, when things are not so good, when somebody's taken ill or there, as you say, there's a, a burglary around there or the weather's bad or something like that, mm. that's when you actually do want people who are around, who are taking those things that we, we need some help with occasionally, don't we? Absolutely, absolutely. And, and in that respect, again, I think we're quite lucky here because we do have that kind of level of support. And, and we have actually had a couple of spates of burglaries around here. And, and the neighbours were all very good at sort of getting the word out, making sure that people knew to be a bit extra vigilant, looking out for people that shouldn't be around that aren't usually around and in fact there was one incident where all the kids were playing out at the beginning of the summer and and i could hear this helicopter flying above and it turned out it was a police helicopter and uh, suddenly the kids all came running in saying we've just seen one of the burglars running around the estate so all the kids kind of migrated to the nearest house and we all locked our doors and waited for it all to be over there was police on the estate and everything but the whole neighborhood kind of pulled together to make sure that the children were in the houses, that everything was locked, that everybody was safe. And then once people knew that it was, and they came knocking around the door saying, yeah, they've caught them, it's all right. And, and that was quite quite good to know. And I always thought you lived in quite a quiet area as well, Frederick. <laughs> you know, there's, there's couples having fisticuffs outside. There's police helicopters flying around at the same time. <laughs> oh, Boy, what a here. boring life you lead, don't you, Frederica? <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, uh, you are the happiness speaker. If anybody wants to check you out, where can they find you? They can come to my website, which is happiness-speaker.co.uk. Um, so if anybody wants me to do any speaking for them, any workshops in schools or in businesses, that's what I do. In fact, I've even done one for the BBC in the past in London. Get you. <laughs> Frederica, thank you very much for joining me on the programme tonight. You're very welcome. Thanks for having me. All right, you take care. It's Late Night Graham Torrings on the BBC across the Midlands. Are you a curtain twitcher? Or are you just downright nosy? Late night, Graham Torrington.